Hi YouTube, and this is JTrain97, and I am here to review quite possibly one of the worst books I have ever read. Um, that's right, I'm being upfront and honest right at the beginning. This book, I can't say it's the worst book, but it is tied with the current worst book, which was Hammer's Lane, or Hammer Lane, Ghost Rider Heaven's on Fire. You rarely encounter a book where there are so many bad things that you have to be like, I, I literally have no idea where to start. Um, this is supposedly the book that was either going to, you know, make or break Ghost Rider. It was going to decide whether or not the series continued or the series got cancelled. Please let this series be cancelled. This is not Ghost Rider. Now, there were two main writers of this series, Way and Jason Aaron. Um, granted, Way kind of screwed the series over, but Aaron should never write Ghost Rider ever again. Um, let me just set up the plot. The Ghost Riders are apparently angels, which they're not. I don't believe that, even if they wrote it on a page, someone's going to write that out of continuity. But apparently, even though there's established backstory, and they've been established as demons, and the Medallion of Power, and Noble Kale, they're angels. All of them are angels. Everyone. And they've all been the tool of this angel called Zadiacal, or Zadiacal, I don't know how you're supposed to say it. And Zadiacal had this plan to overthrow heaven. Um, he is now in God's position. He is supposedly has the power of God. And the Ghost Riders go after him to stop him. Um, I'm, I'm really trying to find a place. The art is terrible the whole way through. Surprisingly enough, the cover to number four is really cool. But, but that is literally the only redeeming aspect out of the entire series. Let's see. I'm sorry, I'm really just trying to find a place to start picking this book apart. Um, they have to protect the Antichrist for some reason. Really doesn't ex it's supposedly he can bring about the fall of heaven. Um, here's the thing, he betrays them. Um, I think halfway through. Really doesn't explain why, it's just he's going to try and take over heaven. So that's pointless. Um, Damien Hellstorm comes in, or Hellstrom, the son of Satan. And he's, um, he tried to kill the Antichrist, and then he, like, fight fought beside Ghost Rider, and that was it. Um, Vengeance shows up, the old Vengeance, and sells the Hellfire shotgun to another guy, and he's like, oh, I can't use it, you know, you have to have a tied with Ghost Rider. And he gives him in that, and he turns, the other guy turns into Vengeance. Actually, that was right before Heaven's on Fire, but it ties in. Anyways, apparently this Vengeance is evil, even though Vengeance was a good guy in the rest, the last Ghost Rider series. Oh, well. Um, <laughs> But this book is terrible. There's one whole issue where um, Ghost Rider, the, the one with the cool cover, where it shows Ghost Rider fighting Scarecrow. Johnny and Danny show up for one panel in that book, and it's just Johnny fighting Danny. That, that is it. <sighs> there is really, really nothing about this book that is any good whatsoever, except for the fact that it is the end of the series. Um, Johnny and Danny eventually get to heaven. Zadiacal immediately beats them. And then they're like, why don't you kill us? And he's like, oh, I could kill you. And they're like, wait a minute, no you can't. You can't control the power of Ghost Riders. So for some reason, they imagine, they you know summon up every Ghost Rider ever. Including this one little irritating one that gets all the dialogue. who's clearly a rip-off of them. The goon sidekick, if you read the goon. Who just, you know, randomly spouts off stereotypical lines and... They all drag Zadiacal to hell, I guess. And then magically Heaven's back, and Johnny's wife and kids are there. Now let's talk about that. Johnny's wife and kids are there. Johnny's wife and kids are not dead. Um, volume 2 said that Johnny's wife is alive. She is back with Danny. I mean, Johnny. His kids are kidnapped. Hammer Lane said Johnny's wife is alive. So now we get to Heaven's on Fire, and he goes, Oh, wait. I forgot to write about that. Okay, they're dead. They're in heaven. It's okay. It is not okay. Now let's talk about the whole, um, them protecting the Antichrist. Danny decides to go and make a deal with the devil, sell his soul, so that he can, um, find a portal to heaven so they can go get Zadiacal. Okay, it would seem that with Zadiacal trying to make heaven like a military state, that Satan would want to help them. 
Apparently not. Not only that, but he tricks them and sends them to a portal that doesn't work. Doesn't make much sense, and besides the fact that Danny should know that that doesn't work. He always tricks you. But no. Wow. This is, this is so terrible. Um, I'm sorry if the review's a little bit of me rambling, but... Th- Stay far, far away from this book. I mean, don't even bother torrenting it. it. It's just that bad. Um, The fight scenes make no sense. The look of the Ghost Riders make no sense. The art is terrible. Caretaker makes no sense. Um, Vengeance shows up for like one scene, and a bunch of nuns beat him up, and then they end up chaining him up to guard a portal to heaven. <sighs> And I don't know what happened to the team of the villains that, you know, got assembled to kill the Ghost Rider because I hardly ever saw them. I think they showed up once, then it showed the orb, like, sitting in a hospital. This is by far one of the worst books I have ever read. I can't think of anything else to say. Um, The only way to truly make you realize how bad this book is is to go through panel by panel and describe what's wrong with it, which I'm not going to do. Um, Marvel has dug their grave for Ghost Rider. It will take an amazing writer to get it back out of the ground, and this is GHRain997 saying, I'll see you soon, and I hope to God this book is cancelled.